Today we're going to be playing some Big Warlock, which is focused around Darkest Hour. Now this deck actually got quite a few new tools in the Dark Moon Fair expansion. Uh, first it got Deck of Chaos, which is like sort of like Darkest Hour, and then it makes all your big stuff a little bit more playable. We've got Ring Matron, which is a nice demon to round out the Archwitch Willow package. Um, another demon for Willow is going to be Circus Amalgam, which also has some dragon synergy to go with our Nether Breaths, and the Amalgams also have synergy with our Nazoth. So for the Nazoth, we're playing two Amalgams, we're playing Demons, uh, Scrapyard Colossus, Dark Moon Rabbit, and we've got a couple dragons with Runaway Black Wings. With all this big stuff, we also play Strongman. That's probably pretty obvious. Uh, we've got the new Hysteria, which is an insane removal card. And then finally, there is Derailed Coaster. So the coaster is a 3-2 if you hit it off Darkest Hour. That does kind of suck. But it is something that we can play on turn 5. And if the tokens survive, that lets us play Darkest Hour on Curve. So just a little bit of added consistency to go with Reform Scheme as a Darkest Hour activator. And of course, with this mana curve, uh, we're often going to be behind on turn 5, so Derailed Coaster is just a fine reactive defensive thing. And then finally, we're playing Cthune the Shattered. Uh, Cthune is actually really good in this deck, because one of the problems this deck used to have is that you would play Darkest Hour, pull out all your threats, the opponent would play Brawl, and then you just run out of stuff to kill your opponent with. And Cthune is a big late game threat that does not get pulled off Darkest Hour and can, you know, murder the opponent. And also for the purposes of actually drawing Cthune, uh, Darkest Hour effectively draws seven cards. You also have Life Tap, so you can hit Cthune pretty consistently. So yeah, a lot of cool new stuff for this deck. And by some miracle, I'm 12 and 12 with it, so maybe it's not terrible. Let's try to hit some tokens. Oh, this could be a nice game. Paladin does have Consecration, but they're probably not that likely to kill my scheme. Dude, if you want to give me 10 mana, I'm... I'm okay with that. Unfortunately, I can't play anything that lets my opponent kill that. Maybe I tap for Soul Shear or Nether Breath so I can kill this and he can ramp me. Another scheme. So if I shoot this here, he plays the thing. I have a four unit Darkest Hour. Maybe I wait a turn on the Nether Breath. How obvious is it if I Nether Breath the, uh, the Dragon Tamer instead of the War Leader. Too obvious? Probably too obvious, right? And I just also take a shitload of damage because of this Crab Rider. Oh well, I guess I coin out Ring Matron next turn. Survive the real death. 
we're getting to the point where it's not even really worth it for him to play the dragon. But, I don't know. He's still two turns away from tip the scales without it, so... Might be worth. Which path to choose? In time, all things are possible. All right, there's my mana. I didn't hit the rabbit or a dragon. Kind of unfortunate, but I did have a dragon in hand, so wasn't that unlikely. It does suck to not hit the rabbit, though, since I kind of wanted to play Nazoth if this board got cleared. But it's not really... It's not likely this board gets cleared. His best play here is going to be Tip the Scales. And even with Tip the Scales, he's already lost a Rush minion and a War Leader. So he might actually just be dead here. Dark Moon Rabbit. Okay, sure. I've only got 15 power. That's not that much. Uh, what if I just play Nazoth anyway? I don't get an elemental either. Yeah, Nazoth is not very good here. So let's play a 9 mana 9 9. times like this where it's unfortunate that this dragon doesn't go face like Ragnaros. Alright, there's the tip of scales. The six power minions are really pathetic in the face of my Scrapyard Colossus. He actually just can't even kill my Scrapyard Colossus here. <laughs> well, he can't kill the... I think it's called a Felcracked Colossus. Could be wrong about that. Alright, we got ourselves another Warlock. He could be Zoo, which would be... somewhat annoying. I definitely keep Dark Skies for the possibility of Zoo. Question is, do I keep Deck of Chaos? I guess I keep it. Okay, there's a Darkest Hour. Alright, well, I don't have a play here. My hand doesn't support this Darkest Hour very well, unfortunately. Well, that's the worst draw if I have Deck of Chaos in hand. But Derailed Coaster is the second best draw with Darkest Hour, so that's nice. I do have a very spell-heavy hand, though, so this derailed coaster might not actually get me much, but there's Reform Scheme. It's kind of small at this point, though. Like, if I play it on turn 5, it's only going to make 3. Um, I'm going to cast Dark Skies here, because I think I really want my turn 5 to be derailed coaster. So, like, I need to make room in my hand to draw some minions. I don't know. I might play... I guess I can go, like, Derailed Coaster on 5. And then if it's not good for some reason, then I can always just go, like, Deck of Chaos on 6. And then Scheme Hour on 8. 
I do have Willow for eight, but I don't have a demon in hand. What if I go like coin coaster into scheme into darkest hour? I don't know, coining the coaster is so shit though, because I only have two minions in hand. I guess I'm just not doing anything here. Really bizarre turn for me. Okay, well, the derailed coaster minions are obviously not living into that board. Maybe this is just an Eye of Cthune turn? Actually, the derailed coaster lines up pretty nicely here. It's not like I need it for the darkest hour, it's just kind of nice if it works out. But, like, this is just a good turn 5 play, not worrying about the darkest hour. And then the turn 8 hour is good enough, I think. Well, if I'm gonna play Deck of Chaos, this is the turn to do it. I have Hysteria for that 4-5. Yeah, I'd probably just go Hysteria Amalgam here. Wow, he just went down the line, huh? Oh, not at the end. Cool. So the only variance there was whether or not he ended up with a 1-1 one, one, or a 1-3, and I got the better end of that. Easy turn here. So the opponent can obviously have uh, Twisting Nether, or maybe even something else that could uh, deal with this board. But I had a lot of Death Rattles here. I have 19 power in play if he Twisting Nethers, or 18 maybe. And I do still have a Willow in hand. I have a demon in hand to go with her, and two demons in deck, so she's still pretty good this game. Uh, probably overkill to play her here. Might just cast I here. Well, I guess I'm tapping first, and if I hit, like... I don't know, if I hit one of my demons, I guess I'll play Ring Matron. Could hit Body of Cthune, I think that would probably be worth playing. Yeah, I mean, any play here involves life tap. Not a great outcome. Let's just launch this. Okay, that's a lot of 3-3s. Three I might be playing an AoE here. I can play Dark Skies plus Scrapyard Colossus. Uh, Dark Skies does 8. Uh, I did lose my Nazoth. But I could still just play the Rabbit here. I don't know, the Rabbit's pretty good on... Uh, like the Yasharaj turn, perhaps. Let's go ahead and tap here. 
And then we just shoot this and play Dark Skies. I believe he ends the turn with a 3-1 here. But a 3-1's not that big of a deal. Um, I have played two of my Cthune pieces already. So with this body in hand, there's only the heart left in my deck. So as long as that doesn't get milled, I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Uh, let's go ahead and play Willow and then tap for the Cthune piece here. I guess he can just wait and then just always mill my Cthune itself, right? Okay, there's the Cthune piece. Well, this turn definitely just seems like coaster plus body. These two one ones attacking are so good. Okay. The rush minion is really annoying here. I guess I just get stuff in play. Yeah, I think I'm just chilling, and then when I'm out of cards, I just go heart tap to guarantee I draw the Cthune, and then hope that the Cthune can actually win the game. Alright, so I guess this is the heart tap turn. The problem is... The, on the Cthune turn, he's pretty likely to have, like, Yasharaj plus Ticketus in play, which is 18 health, which is a lot. Uh, looks like I get to hit him for 7 here, though, which is pretty nice. Um, So 7 puts him to 12, which is actually perfect, right? And then I guess I'm just playing Nether Breath as well. But, like, what if I just go Runaway Blackwing here? Is that more or less safe than just going for the Cthune win? I feel like if I just set him to 8 here with Cthune next turn... Well, I mean, he does have 5 Soul Fragments in deck. Half his deck is Soul Fragments. He also has to have Yasharaj. Like, anything short of Yasharaj is just not even close to good enough, I think. I don't know, it just really sucks, like, not developing here, dealing damage to my own minion. Okay, he's at 12, that's fine. You can have Strongman, I guess. I don't know if I'm beating Yasharaj Strongman with any line, though. Well, I mean, I can always just Dark Moon Rabbit here, right? And then Cthune on the following turn. Alright, nice. That was pretty close. 